guys, Kara here with Kinsley's Creative Palette. I was trying to go live from my iPad, and um, for some reason, Facebook keeps logging me out and um, making me log back in again, and right now it won't let me log into my business page. So, um, we're going to have to make do with my iPad, but I wanted to show you. <clears throat> Several of you know that in that last month during the virtual paint party, we painted the other side of a mason jar. And we did it with pumpkins, um, and it was fabulous. But I wanted to show you a quick um, paint out of the other side for Christmas. So if you had your Give Thanks mason jar on one side, you could flip it over and do something for Christmas on the other. But before I do that, I wanna show you if you're in a hurry, and you know you don't have a lot of time, but you wanna paint, or this also comes in handy if you're doing parties and you know you have a very limited amount of time, but you're using colors that normally take two, three, or four coats of paint. I'm gonna show you a trick. So let me grab a paintbrush and um, I'm gonna see, give me a second to adjust my camera. And I think I'm gonna um, see if I can't back it up a little bit so you can see more. So give me just a second. Let's see if we can fix that a little bit. Sorry guys, I usually only use this when I'm not painting. Um, okay, I think y'all can see more now. Somebody give me a thumbs up if that's better. If you can see more of my painting surface. Okay, all right, so here it is. I have already put one coat of paint on it, and I'll tell you a secret. That's all the red I'm gonna need, which is fabulous, because normally red takes several coats. I'm gonna shut my door so the dogs will not be so loud. It's raining outside today, it's disgusting. Good afternoon. Oh, I need a good, I'm excited. So, let me show y'all my trick, and I have put a link in the description at the top. This paint right here, which I bought it in bulk, you can see I got a big, huge tub of it. You do not need a big, huge tub of it. You just need a little, um, like, squirty tube of it. Hey, Carlin. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Alicia. This right here... I wanna show you how thick, actually, I'm gonna show you with the white. So I did one coat of red, and this particular red is called Cadmium Red Deep Hue. Guys, this is one coat. Can y'all see that? You know, normally when you paint red, you have to go over and over and over again, and you have to add white to it. You don't have to do that with this. So if you are doing, let's say you're doing a party this um, Christmas, and everybody's painting a snowman, well, that hat's gonna take forever, painted red. Um, but with this paint, you could make it so that they only need one coat. All right, let me show you what's so special about this paint. Y'all see that? And I'm sorry, guys, I'm not feeling really well today. I'm super shaky and just feel kinda under the weather. But you see how it stands up on that little um, insert? This whole jar of paint, I mean, you could pour it if you wanted to, but it's it's really um, thick. So like if I put my brush into it, let me just do that. I have my brush right here. If I stick my brush in this paint, see how it, it just like peaks on there? So I did one coat of um, white up here and I am gonna have to do more but I'm not gonna have to do three or four coats. And I'm going straight to um, some of my, like the design that I wanna put in this top part with this white. Where did you get the paint? Um, Juanita, in the link above, uh, in my Amazon store, they I have, um, I have linked to some tubes. Um, it's not, it's not the deco art paint, it's the Liquitex, but they come in tubes like this, and there's a pack of six for like less than $13. Um, and I would highly recommend that that's what you start with, because it was like the basic colors. Okay, I do need a little bit of black, but I'm not gonna use the Liquitex black. I'm gonna actually just use, um, this is just a really thin, thinned out deco art black. 
Okay, so I've got a little bit of black right here. What I want to do, hello, Anna. Hey, Pauline. Hello, Stevie. Okay, I'm going to get most of my paint off of my brush, and just in this one corner of my brush, I'm going to get a little bit of black. Now I'm going to grab some more of that white paint back, and I'm going to act like I'm making polka dots, but I'm not going to refill my brush with every stroke, okay? So I'm just kind of making polka dots over the top of polka dots. So this one side, as y'all can see, but like that one side has some definition to it. So I'm gonna get some more white paint. See how it scoops up here? I'm gonna put it on here and I'm gonna kinda just keep repeating that process. And then I'm just gonna go over what I've already done just so they kinda overlap. And guys, the effect that I'm wanting to get right now is like a cottony, um, oh gosh, like his, the fluffy part of like a belt. So instead of like a, um, not a belt, what would I say? Like the fluffy part of his uniform. This is gonna be a Santa, like a Santa um, uniform, like a play on it. Can y'all see that? And if y'all talk and I don't answer, it's because it's not showing me um, all that. Hey, Anna, I'm glad you got me live, too. Okay, so I'm using, in case you're just tuning in, I'm using Liquitex paint today because I wanted this project to go very quickly. Okay, um, I do have a link in the description of the video to my Amazon affiliate store and you can get a pack of basic colors. I think it's six six, six tubes um, and they're kind of these like squeezy tubes for less than $13. All right guys, so I just keep, I'm just gonna keep doing this until I'm happy with the top. So I'm just trying to make it look like fluffy cotton balls up here. And by adding just that little bit of gray on the side, it gives it that cotton effect. Hey, hey girl. It's rainy and gross outside, so if y'all are just tuning in, I've been kind of in a funk. And um, I've been wanting to paint this for y'all, and there just seemed like no time like the present. So, I'm jumping on to show you how easy this is. If you want to paint this along with me, um, this video will be available for replay. I put a link at the top to the template where you can download and cut your own. Y'all see that? So I'm just gonna go all the way across like that. The main thing is you add that little bit of gray so that your circles have some definition. Because if they were only white, then they would all blend together. And you don't have to have a lot of gray, just, just a tad bit, which I used black and just dipped the very corner of my brush in. Now guys, this is how I make my polka dots. I just kind of swirl my brush like that. So if you're new to watching me and you're like, what is she doing? That's how I make my polka dots. Some people use the daubers and that's totally fine, whatever you're comfortable with. It's just that's not my favorite way. To me, it takes way too long. Right, I got some more paint. All right, so I want y'all to see, I did one coat of red, I did a coat of white under here, and now I went straight into my details. Um, guys, I have a really awesome project coming up for y'all next week. Um, I went and bought the wood yesterday, and Anna is actually the reason that I'm doing this project. So 
If, um, if you're still on, Anna, this one's for you, babe. Um, so next week, I don't know if y'all saw, but last week I showed you a new product, a temp printable template that I created that made it so that you would be able to do any door leaner that you were wanting to, okay? Um, and when I say that, like the front porch door sign, like the, the leaning door signs, or where you can change the, um, the little ornaments. So I did a set of letters, and then I did a set of ornaments, interchangeable ornaments. All right, guys, my puff ball stuff is done, but I, I'm gonna come back over here and do a little bit because I came down further on this side. Anyway, so next week, I'm planning, if all goes well, to paint, show y'all how to use the templates, the just the traceables live, so that you can all make your own porch leaner. And friends, let me tell you something. I see these all over Amazon Marketplace, like the um, garage sale type sites. I see these all the time. And people make good money painting these. And so the tools that I'm giving you with the printable templates that you just trace on is so much more cost effective to be able to create for customers than if you were buying the, um, oh gosh, what do you call it? The metal letters. And you don't need the metal letters. Like you can, they're gonna, it's gonna look just as good. All right, I've got this last one. I'm gonna add a little bit more to. Okay, so I've got my cotton ball effect. This one's a little bit too strong, so I'm gonna tone it down. All right, I've got my fluffy cotton ball effect. Now I'm gonna go into black, and let me rinse my brush first. Now guys, when I rinse my brush, I literally go all the way down in the in the water and I push it down to get all of the um, paint out of it and then I straighten it back up with my microfiber towel. So I've got some black and I'm gonna make two circles right here. These are gonna be buttons. So there's one. Did y'all see what just happened? Oh no, okay, quick. I'm gonna dip in the water and I'm gonna wipe off as much as I can and then I can go back and paint over that if I need to. Look at that, you can't even tell. Okay, so let me get some more black and I'm gonna do this next polka dot. All right. So there's his two buttons. And then I'm gonna go, oh, I'm not gonna go into the um, water yet. The last thing that I'm gonna do before I paint is I'm gonna grab this yellow. And you can use um, a ruler or something if you want to. I'm just gonna freehand this. But I'm gonna grab yellow. a little bit to the left and I'm going to outline the buckle of his belt okay so I just sketched it on it's hard to see but I sketched it on real quick I'm going to squirt some black paint onto my board and I'm going to be very careful to not do that, that part that's going to be um, gold. But I'm going to paint the rest of it. I want you all to see how quick this comes together. Now remember I did use the Liquitex on the bottom layer. But this is literally, except for the... Um, Details, this is like a one coat coverage type project. I know sometimes when we do parties, they can drag on for what seems like forever. 
and um, this is just one that would be very quick. It'd also be fun if you got your girlfriends together before the holidays and it'd be one of those projects that you could paint um, while you were you know sitting around maybe having appetizers or cocktails and it wouldn't require a lot of brain power okay guys to get our crisp clean lines we load our brush and we go slow Um, let's see what all does that say? Where my snowman last night? Yes, so cute. So yes, I do use a colored pencil because it doesn't smudge. If you use a regular pencil, and that one was just yellow, um, just so I'd be able to see it. But if you use a regular pencil, it will smudge and get in your paint. It's kind of messy. So I always keep a pack of colored pencils available. All right, and I need a little bit more black paint. Thank you for answering that question, Alicia. All right, friends. So here's what we've got so far. Can y'all see that? You cute? I'm going to jump over here. One of the things that I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna squirt out some thinner white, just some regular acrylic white, not the Liquitex, on to my little plate. I'm gonna use the back end of my paintbrush and I'm going to put little um, white dots on my buttons as if it was really a button. And I'm using the end of my paintbrush because it gives me little, um, small little perfect polka dots. This paint's a little bit thick. The thinner and the fresher your paint is when you're doing these, the better your dots will come out. You never want to do this technique with paint that's been sitting on your plate for a while. Okay, so there are those. I'm gonna wipe that off. And then I'm gonna grab, I've got some um, 24 karat gold. This is a deco art metallic sheen. And I'm gonna squirt this on my plate. And I'm going to, I'm gonna use an angled brush so I can get a little bit more detail. I'm just gonna color this in. This is hard to see, but it's actually covering really well. It looks transparent on the screen, but it does not look transparent in person. So I'll show y'all in just a minute. Now I'm gonna be real careful around that black that I just did because it's still a little bit wet. And anytime you touch wet paint with wet paint, it blends and we don't want our black and our gold to blend. I wish I could show y'all how pretty this is in person. Alright, I'm just going to round these corners off. Being real careful to not spread that black paint. And if you do get a little bit, which I just did, wipe it off and go back over it. Just get as much as you can off. Okay. Y'all see that? Is that not amazing? Like the difference? It looks all transparent down here. But as soon as I lift it up, guys, it is like a pop of color. So the last thing that I'm going to do for this cutie patootie is... 
I'm going to take my red. I'm going back to my Liquitex because that's the color that I used on the bottom. And um, I'm just gonna use what's in the, the top up here. I'm gonna get a smaller brush and I'm gonna get some red, just a big blob of red right here. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of black with it. And I'm gonna go around the outsides and get, uh-oh, got a little bit gold right there. I'm just gonna go around these outsides and kind of shade it just a little bit so that it's not so stark red. So it gives it just kind of a, um, I don't know, yeah, just like a shaded look to it. You don't need a lot of paint, it's almost dry brushed. And I'm going all the way off the sides. Let me show y'all what that looks like. Can you see that? It just gives just a little bit of shading to the outside so that it's not, not as bright. All right, friends. Y'all see how quick and easy that was? Ah! So that is our mason jar and the back side of it. What did that take us? All of like 20 minutes to do. Um, but I will tell you the trick here, if you're in a hurry, um, is the Liquitex paint. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, let me grab my phone and say bye. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you have questions, just leave them in the comments below. And um, yeah, if you're looking for that paint, it's in the link above. Bye, guys. Have a good day.